Good morning, Internet. Uh, today we are actually going to prep the uh, electrical stuff for swapping the panel over. I have the uh, power company set up to come out and, and do the, the main switch, but then we're going to wire in the old panel as a sub-panel uh, using this uh, black wiring down here. So we're going to basically, they're going to they're gonna pull the, the main feeder out of this old breaker down here, which is this wire right here. They're going to pull that out, they're going to fish that into the new panel, hook it up to the main breaker, and then we are going to replace this main line uh, with that cable that I had showed you. And that's basically going to feed um, this old panel as a sub-panel of the new, idea being that eventually we will completely phase out all this stuff by rewiring one room at a time. But this way we don't have to do it all at once, we can keep that up and running and then just move them all over one at a time until we're ready to do it. And then eventually uh, we'll just decommission this fully. update here. Uh, we have this panel grounded in now with this ground wire that runs down and over to the grounding spike. And then in addition, uh, we've done the first breaker. Uh, this is what will feed the sub panel that we're wiring up as the old one. Uh, so we have the two hot connectors and then behind it are where the neutral and the ground are tied in. So at this point, uh, we're ready for the electrician. I'm not sure exactly when he's getting here. Alright, we're all done. So this is the power line coming in to the main breaker. And then we have our 60 amp that powers the sub panel. Goes up and over into that line. And then that's tied in over here into the main breaker of this panel. And then the return and ground are tied into the bus bars over there. So overall, it turned out very nice. Unfortunately, the electrician did not want to be filmed. Uh, so I don't have footage of the actual process. But um, this basically just shows you the end result. I had seen someone in the comments say about, you know, do we want to do 200 amp service instead of 100 amp service? Uh, this is what's called a tandem breaker. Come on, focus. All right, basically you can see there are two breakers within one. And so you can basically get double the space in terms of number of circuits for the physical locations. Uh, the wiring we have uh, is not rated for 200 amp service. It's only rated for 100 amp service. We'd have to get thicker wires all the way from the pole in if we were going to do that. Um, so I ended up deciding just to go with 100 amp and do the tandem breakers to make sure we had enough space to do everything we wanted to do. All the appliances in here are gas anyway, so our total usage is never going to exceed 100 amps. Um, even if we do do the air conditioning add-on, that's only going to pull a max of 30. Things are going well. I'm going to get these closed up here, and then I think I might take the kids to a little carnival that's in town. Um, and they were they'd seen it we drove by the other day, so I might take them there and ride some rides and hopefully have some fun.